Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're back on playing Minecraft episode 101. So we finally broke that 100 episode mark. Um, if you haven't seen it, because a lot of people didn't, um, episode 100 was just a couple weeks ago. Let's go watch that if you missed it. We just did a big world tour. But today, we're going to get back on the grind. We're going to be working with some things. So, um... I can give you a little sneak peek of what we're going to do today because I'm actually recording this after. Uh, but we're going to work on a chorus farm. We're going to work on a bee farm. But it's not really a farm. It's more of an area. And then we're just going to clean up some things around the world. So real quickly, I'm just going to give you a little preview in the background. There's the bees. We're gonna There's a chorus farm. And there's a couple little things. That's all I'm going to give you. All right, everybody. So let's go ahead and start with the chorus farm first. And with firsts comes cleaning. So we're going to... This is the area we're going to put it in. And we're going to have to clean the torches off of it and stuff and gather the material. And just to let you know, it's probably already obvious, but I am kind of doing a voiceover. Because Minecraft is one of those games I like to relax and just play. And then I still want to post it to YouTube because obviously I want to post it. And I'm, you know, So I, I usually just talk afterwards. But yeah, and also it does make a better visually because you can kind of see every step of the process. Um, but yeah, we started off with putting the holes on where we're actually going to put the coarse plant themselves. And then we built a little edge on the left side. And here I'm putting down the dispensers because how I plan for this farm to work is for uh, me to scale along little like what are they called little balconies i'm gonna go down the balconies i'm gonna hit all of the fruit off because that's what actually grows the chorus fruit and then obviously i'm gonna chop it from the bottom have all the chorus fall down and then this water is gonna collect all of the chorus and shovel it down into some hoppers and those hoppers are gonna go down to the storage area in the basement and obviously we're just gonna have a mass storage area down uh there yeah, here you could see um, I'm actually going to be using like two dispensers. Um, now, I, if, if, for those of you that play Minecraft a lot, you're going to absolutely roast me on the like design of the farm. But I'm really not going for efficiency. I know this a lot of this can be made with like water extenders and um, a lot of like the spacings between the chorus fruit themselves can be optimized because that's what, the chorus fruit is probably one of the most interesting things in the game as far as like how they grow and how they interact with other things because it can kind of grow in any direction it grows really high and it can grow around things so if you have a pillar like above it it can kind of grow around the pillar so that that makes it really kind of unique as a plant and that's why we can have these like balconies running along because it'll just dodge the balconies and then we can run along the balconies and you know hit it down here you can see this is where i'm gonna have the droppers go all the way down or the hoppers sorry and we're gonna have a mass storage area down there you can see me bringing up the hoppers and as far as like the decoration of the storage area we're not gonna do that today but we are gonna bring it down there and obviously put some chests and one quick note we actually got really lucky here because obviously our basement is under us and we have a lot of redstone down there right where we built this it literally gave me a one by one area where i can Put the hopper through and we somehow managed to hit that single one-on-one -on -one area so that was super lucky in the first place you can see me here so this is the hoppers and if i activate the water everything kind of gets shoveled into the hoppers and once again not a very efficient way to do hoppers but um one i don't really care because i have an iron golem farm iron is not a shortage and then i have a wood farm wood is not a shortage so not really worried about it i'm gonna just be real with you but saying that we are going to obviously be rebuilding this farm in the future and optimizing it um just like everything else in this world because this world will never end um but yeah for now this is just a really simple design uh fairly effective because there's really only so much you can do with chorus fruit it's it, along with its interesting aspects of how it grows it has interesting aspects on how you can farm it because it's it's something that does need to be picked by hand. Um, with a lot of fruit and vegetables, obviously, in this game. Is there even fruit? No, they're just vegetables. You plant them and you can auto-harvest. That is not the case here because the fruit is the only thing that grows the chorus. The fruit needs to be replanted personally. And it actually need, needs to be taken off of the stem personally. If you hit uh, the bottom of the stem with water it won't break the fruit it'll just break it 
you need to actually harvest it yourself. So that there's only a limited way you can farm. And right here, you could see me, I already built it for you, so you can just have to look. But these are the little balconies we're gonna be walking across. And then just to lower the chances of the fruit and chorus actually landing on the balconies, I'm only making them too high from where I could walk. So you could see me here putting glass along this because if it's three spaces instead of two, I don't know the percentage because I'm not going to calculate it, but this lowers the chances, of course, actually landing on them. And of course, I didn't have much fruit on me because I really never made a farm, so I headed over to the uh, end, grabbed some, and planted it. And you could see it here growing already. Um, now, I thought the farm made this area look a little bit ugly because it was higher than the warehouse itself. So I decided, all right, let's bring the warehouse up by three levels. So we're gonna make one layer of the smooth stone, then we're gonna make one layer of iron and then another layer of smooth stone, and then we're gonna continue to bring it up. But here's a demonstration of how the farm works itself. You can see all the stocks break and it just brings it to the bottom. Super easy, super nice, and there I did some work, um, a little bit of work that um, I didn't show on camera and then here we actually went down and this is just a storage area super simple Just some chests just some hoppers like I said We're gonna be building the decoration around it in a later episode probably next episode honestly And here you can see me putting the rest of the iron and as far as the farm This is kind of it for the farm like I said It's a very simple farm because chorus does have its limitations because the player itself needs to be picking them and um yeah, this is kind of the last look. You just kind of go along, you pick the flowers, and that's really it for that farm. Um, and like I said, we're going to be making it better later, but for now, we're good. Our next really, really small project is, if you guys know our automatic wood farm, we kind of have like a toilet bowl um, that sits uh, where the water and to collect the wood. Well, it, it looks really weird. It's just kind of like a weird V-shape. So I decided, you know what, let's make it look more like a actual structure um because I, I just it bothered me how weird it looked so just in an effort to make it look a little less weird i'm going to be building kind of like a pyramid around it just to make it look nicer and then it, it was also the issue of like getting on top of the toilet bowl i had a little ladder right but i use a leech to get everywhere i'm not i'm never using that ladder and it was literally just a, you see you could actually just see it right there it's just a random ladder so i thought you know what that's super ugly your boy is a millionaire in this game. Like, I can do better than this than a stupid little ladder in Elytra. So, um, yeah, we're going to make it look a bit nice. Once again, it's getting to kind of be my catchphrase, but this isn't like the final product. Right now, I'm just doing something to kind of make it look a little bit nice, and we're going to expand upon this later. We're going to be adding more decoration. We're going to be adding different blocks. Because right now, I'm just using smooth stone because that's what I feel like using. But I probably will make it nice. And then I'm also going to be adding more um features to the wood farm itself so you can incorporate a lot of these like pyramid things and then i decided to make the door look a little bit nicer um with like a weird little alien design um but yeah oh uh, what are we doing next yes actually probably the most important part of the video we're gonna start working with the bees so the first two are very old things that were added to the game um I, if anything, I probably should have started working on the bees first, but it was something that I was like not very excited to start um, because I had to go find them and I don't and I feel like doing that, but I did and it was actually kind of fun. But here you could see this is the first beehive I've ever collected or seen a couple months, not months, a couple weeks late, but you know, it is what it is. But yep, this is a beehive found in the natural outside, right? And um yeah, just start off with the bee project. Obviously, I need to get myself some beehives, but more importantly, I need to get myself some bees because beehives you can make, but to make beehives, you need honeycomb, and to make honeycomb, you need bees. You Basically, this is like a really, I'm really saying it in a dumb way. You just need two bees, and you need one beehive. From there, you can just start collecting honeycomb, and then with the honeycomb, you start making it. So you can see here, I, I did a little bit of off camera, but I added rows of flowers, some glowstone, because I didn't want torches on the ground, because I wanted the flowers, and I just wanted to make it look nice. And I placed them all along there. Those brown boxes are actually the the hives or whatever the net yeah it's the nests and hives the hives themselves that i created and i did get some bees um and here we just actually start the structure of the building itself now while i build while you guys watch me build i'll actually talk about the bees themselves because maybe 
for in, in some world you haven't heard of kind of how they work i don't really know myself but this is kind of what i learned from my own testing and actually my old snapshot video that i made um but yeah when you pick up the beehives um I, I correct me if i'm wrong but i think this is the only block in the game that creatures actually go inside of so you can only pick up these beehives with a silk touch if you break it with something else they just break the bees come out and attack you and um there was one big mistake that i actually made in the beginning which i'll tell you a little bit about later um but yeah so you have to silk touch these hives and then if you silk touch while the bee is inside of it you actually take the bee with it which is super important um that's the main way of transporting bees obviously with things like polar bears you need to leash them and bring them but with the bees just silk touch their hive while they're inside transport them over to your base so i did that with a silk touch and i brought them over here um here's one thing that i didn't realize which was very dumb my bees started dying and i'm like why are my bees dying this is kind of annoying i'm going out of bees i didn't realize that if they stung you they lose their stinger and they die just like bees in real life i didn't realize this which was kind of really well, i don't want to say like dumb of me but I'll, i, sh I should have probably thought about that um, but yeah, when you're collecting the honeycomb, you got to be careful because if this if it stings you, if it attacks you, it actually dies. And I lost like I think a good amount of bees to this. Um, but I finally realized that they die if they sting you, so I started being a little bit more careful. Um, as far as the building here goes, basically the concept that I had in my head uh, was kind of like a little what's the word like a like a glass habitat, right? Just how like for plants, there's like what are those the green tents or whatever i, ah, I forgot that yeah, i'm i'm not gonna try to think too hard but you can see the structure at the outline of the actual structure here but yeah kind of like like a one of those things for plants but for bees so like you know a little habitat um it's just gonna be like a glass dome but obviously i'm not gonna have just a glass dome so like as far as like the structure themselves what it's held up by i said you know what let's just do wood because it's something that i have a lot of and i haven't used wood in a lot of my buildings so it's just like a, a very skinny skeleton of wood and then glass surrounding it so you kind of look inside because the bees are one of the better looking things in the game they're, they're kind of appealing to the eye you know there's little blocks and there's flowers and there's bees running around doing their thing it's very something very nice to look at and in the future i do plan to build a very 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 big bee habitat because i just think it looks so nice watching them you know go around and stuff here you can see me actually putting the glass on some of these structures like i said i really wanted the glass here once again to emphasize to kind of look in and watch them but also just as important the glass to keep them in because bees tend to roam a lot so it's something just to kind of keep them inside and you could kind of see the building starting to take shape and one thing that i do have to mention is most of the building is on camera here and you see it once i got done with it i did change a few things to the building because it looked a little flat especially on the top um but um once we're done with the time lapse i will show you the changes post so don't worry about that you will see kind of like the final product um but yeah bees were one of the main things that i've avoided recently because i was just like intimidated by going to find it um, but I'm glad I did because it's something super nice and I definitely needed it in the world and it's something that I'll definitely be playing with more in the future. Um, this is kind of like just the beginnings of the bees and I'm really excited to start thinking of ways to uh, like, uh, what's the word, automize it? Yeah, like making it like being able to farm it and stuff like that. And then here at the end, I just add a little wooden trim at the bottom because it looked a bit weird. Um, that it's just kind of glass sprouting from the ground. So I do add a little wooden trim and then I actually do make another little wooden trim going along the bottom. You'll see that in a second. And that's basically the building itself done. And then this farm is just gonna work like any other, another farm. Um, I'm just gonna come by and just casually farm it whenever I have a chance. And we'll build a little collection of honeycomb and honey and we'll, I'll come around with bottles and do the thing. Um, I'm not gonna build a mass storage area for this one because it's not really it's not really farmable as far as that um, but I will have a storage area that we'll build in a future episode and the last thing that we did here is since this farm kind of cuts into the corner of our little ring around the castle our little moat um, which I should probably replace with lava one of these days I gotta remember it kind of cuts into the moat 
and I had to replace that little corner where that farm is with stone and I said okay well if I'm if I replace that with stone I have to make the entire thing stone or it just looks really really weird so we just added a nice little stone trimming around the entire thing here um, and yeah that's really the last thing we did but we did do a lot today chorus and bees are two things that I've avoided which we finally got you know we dipped our toes in it's really really nice um, I'm I don't if you guys noticed with the chorus I used about half of the warehouse for that farm I might use the entire warehouse and just convert it into a chorus farm or I might use the other half for a different project I haven't really um, made up my mind yet but there are many things in the works with Minecraft a lot of cool updates coming um, with a lot of new things that are being able to be farmed um, but that will come when it comes you know here here's the last part of the beehive itself is filling up every single place that the hives can actually go we have quite a few hives this is a pretty large farm obviously nothing like crazy but we do have we have the capacity for a lot of bees um but yeah as far as the episode guys and the work i think we did a lot of work today and i'm super happy with what i did so yeah uh, let's go ahead and finish right we're back we just did all of the work you guys saw the time lapses and all that stuff um so yeah let's actually now go through it we built it all but i want to actually show you guys kind of more in close because i know sometimes it's kind of hard to see all the work is being done as far as this goes this is pretty simple I just built a nice little pyramid around it just to kind of make it look a little nicer. I thought it looked a little dirty. So nothing special here. Just go inside. Nothing super special. Let's go to the bee farm next because it's kind of the next um, simplest, right? Let's come over here. Um, I think I did a little bit of tweaks like adding the torches after recording. So there are a couple changes. This is another change right here. I thought um, this entire thing being flat was, was a little weird looking. So I added these little bumps. Um, I think in the end of the video, I added these doors and then I also added, um, these last ones over here. A lot of these are, or a couple of these are already be, being filled with honey and I need to take those out. But yeah, this is kind of the ending of like my, my little bee enclosure and I'm actually kind of proud of this. I definitely think the building looks a bit weird. And anyway, here's one last look. Um, the build, okay, you're gonna let me out. The building definitely looks weird up at the top there. I think that definitely could be built better, but guys, this world's never going anywhere. There's always room for improvement. And then obviously, since we built something here, I do plan to do something with this little stretch of area, which I'm thinking of turning into something for these little dudes. Maybe, maybe we'll have a different thing, but let's quickly look at the, the other project that we did is this chorus farm, and we could actually go through and harvest it once, I think. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very simple farm, just a couple layers. We put the plants down here. Um, when you break the plants, everything comes down and then we have dispensers shooting out water to collect into these hoppers and these hoppers go all the way down to the basement. Um, and yeah, I guess we could quickly um, just do, L let me give you guys a rundown on how this would happen. You would just go through, you would break all of these. Some of them are picked up, but you don't really have to pick them up if you don't want because obviously they're going to get dragged along. And I'm not going to do a full thing because actually I, I don't want to, I don't want to keep this episode too long. Yeah, you just go through there, press that button, and everything goes, um, yeah, it goes down. And actually, right now I'm going to pick them up because I'm not going to do the whole water thing. Um, yeah, so that's the chorus farm, pretty simple. And obviously, I have a little walkway so I can go because some of the bulbs are higher. I go through here, clear all of it, I go one more up, and I clear all of it. So, yeah, pretty simple, easy design. I'm 100% going to be building a bigger one later, but for now, um, that's all really we needed because as of that moment, or as of before this episode we literally only had a really really small farm right here and it was all hand gathered and all that stuff and i didn't like it uh but yeah so those are really the two projects we worked on today and this was just a little extra making a little bezel around the end or whatever it's called just to make it look a little bit nicer so guys um i'm gonna end the episode off here i think we're around 20 minutes so i'm definitely gonna end it guys thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like and a comment as a sports channel and i will see you guys later god bless and goodbye.